are deep fakes okay? Get in the chat below and let me know. Are deep fakes okay? And are explicit pictures of deep fakes okay? Because for those of you that don't know, for so many uh, 13 year old boys or just men who enjoy making sexual deep fakes of people, uh, deep fake pornography is illegal in Texas, Minnesota, New York, Virginia, Hawaii, Georgia, Illinois, and California. That is a huge problem if you are a deep fake creator. There have been images of Taylor Swift being generated all over the internet of her um, essentially having sexual relations with every single chief fan on in the planet. <laughs> it seems like, and they are everywhere. And they're all over my timeline on Twitter, and I've had to, like, mute so many people. Though there are also funny ones like this. I like this type. We need less AI photos of Taylor Swift being sexualized, and we need more AI photos of Taylor Swift joining the jihad. That is kind of funny. But where's the line? I mean, seriously, where's the line? Because these photos, they're not, they're, like, naked but not being naked, and they're, <clears throat> I think, and I think the best person to ask would probably be ChatGPT. What what better person to ask about deepfake images than an AI source? What is your thoughts? You are part of the problem, AI. Consent and privacy is number one. We could throw that out the window. I I don't ask for consent when I'm making deepfakes, uh, but I don't make explicitly sexual deepfakes. Like, here's a funny one I made of Joe Biden the other day. Look, he's pumping gas. <laughs> it's just like, because that's going to be his next job. Um, I mean... Where's the line? Misinformation and trust. That is the whole point of AIs. It's it's fun that make new images. I mean, I think some of these same people that are very angry about Taylor Swift's image being shared around are the same people that probably shared a Donald Trump photo of him getting arrested and mocking it and laughing and having kind of a sexual fantasy about it, I'm sure, at the same time. Number three, identity impersonation. Yes, that's literally the whole point. Number four, moral responsibility for creators. That's where I think we can get into some of the discussion but at the same time are these creators just 13 year old boys aka 13 to 25 year old men where we are just complete savages as human beings um <clears throat> is they don't have moral responsibility in their minds they want to have the most over the top thought process over the top thing that makes all their friends go dude that's nuts and so of course these taylor swift images are going to be everywhere but why taylor swift <laughs> but <clears throat> I think it's just, I think it has moral implications. And I think this just raises the question again, is what's, where's the line? What, what's okay and what's not okay? How, and how can you even stop it? Right? Because you don't want pictures of your mom all over the internet uh, having sex with chief fans. Like that's, not, that is not what you want. You do not want that. But we're heading that way. I mean, we're heading to a generation of people, of men and women alike. Women will do the same thing. Don't act like it's just a men issue. That's ridiculous. Uh, where they will, instead of actually meeting anyone, they'll just pick somebody who they like, create an entire AI-generated video with voiceovers and everything, and then they can just have sex with their fake, uh, fake deep fake for the rest of their lives. I married... I'm married to Derek O'Shea right now. And in real life, you're not. But in your real life, you are because you only live your life through VR headsets. What is the line? Where are we going with this? And 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 it. I feel like it's like the explicit stuff that's disgusting. If Donald Trump was like doing it with another Nancy Pelosi, that might be kind of funny. But like, but where's the line? You know, like I, I feel like this has crossed the line for me, for honestly, for me. It was like funny at first, and then I and then I started like thinking about the moral implications and the kind of I just just the thought process. We're creating an entire generation of psychopathic human beings where they can just uh, manipulate people to do whatever they want via deep fakes via the internet. They can just mold them into the person they want. Like it, it's kind of psychopathic. I mean, and then when they are had their fix of deep fakes and they feel like it's not enough they might go farther you know what i mean where do like are we are we raising a generation of psychos i feel like we are devoid of emotion and a, devoid of actual re relationships and we're just living our lives through ai number five regulation and accountability good luck with that if you can't stop swatting by now you think you're gonna stop ai generated image sexually explicit images especially because of how addictive pornography is, those images once created will be shared 
everywhere. And that's just the reality. And that goes for both people. It goes for men and women. I'm sure if there was like some deep fake photo of Donald Trump naked with a really small penis, every liberal and their mom would be like, oh my God, this is so great. Share this on the top. And then there's like a part of me that's like, Derek, are you just like being a buzzkill, bro? This is just all fun and games. Is it though? Is it all fun and games? Maybe at first, but then now it's now these images are created. Now they're forever. Now they're going to be shown everywhere. What do you think? Like, what do you think her kids are going to feel about that? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't like her as a human being. Like, I don't really care. I don't dislike. I don't care for her. I'm not a Swifty. I could care less. But like, I'm a human. <laughs> No, I don't know. And sometimes on the internet, it's like we're just like having fun. And then sometimes like there are lines in which we're no longer acting like we would act in front of each other. And so therefore, it creates like this new personality that you can just live through and do whatever you want. I'm in control of my own world when I enter the internet. So what is the line? What do you think the line is? Word of the day is vivacious. Vivacious. Someone or something described as vivacious is happy and lively in an appealing way. I hope this podcast for you this day was very lively and appealing. Now, if you're going to make a deep fake, make sure to make one that makes you giggle and that is harmless and just for fun. Like that picture I made of Joe Biden or I made um, I made another picture of... The other day of Donald, Donald Trump. Look how fun that is. I actually love that picture. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's fun for me. I'm not making Donald Trump doing sexual things. Like, so where's the line? Where do we go from here? Shall it be stopped? I know the Swifties say so, but I, a- ask yourself, Swifties, if Donald Trump was put in the same position, would you be okay with it? And if the answer is, F him, who cares? Then you are the problem. Goodbye.